Meandering through Greece provides the promise of unforgettable delights. A surprise appears at every turn with each new view. Entire Greece can be described as a synthesis of impressive combinations, captivating and challenging visitors. Naturally, the grandeur of Greece goes deeper than the surface to another world, incredibly remote, yet so close. The silent and serene world of the caves is here at your fingertips. Worthwhile discovering. Peloponnese, the gem of Greek soil, is the center of one of the greatest civilizations of ancient times. Land of the mythical character Pelopas. This is a long stroll through myth and history. In the Peloponnese, nature has worked elaborately and continuously for thousands of years to form the splendid interior of Dero Cave in Manis. to the caves of the Laconic Peninsula is an enchanting journey to underground crystal gardens and eccentric grandiose columns of grandiose stalactites and stalagmites with floral formations of infinite beauty. The subterranean river, Glifada, a geological wonder, is justifiably characterized as the most beautiful of its kind in the world. Peloponnese landscape is peculiar and captivating. Through time it has remained unsaltered, endowed with boundless natural beauties and a significant history. The Cave of the Lakes near historical Calavrita is one of the largest and most remarkable in Greece.
It is an astonishing creation of nature with its 13 marvelous stepped lakes. Apart from its lakes, the cave presents wonderful stalactite interiors with a great variety of figures, shapes, and colors. Chandeliers, waterfalls, fossil basins, and water lilies overflow from the chambers of the mythical Protidon Cave. When at last you find yourself in a Greek harbor where a good glass of wine awaits you with the melody of a sweet guitar, then you can be sure you have set anchor in one of the bays in the Ionian Pelagos. The particularity of nature in the Ionian setting can be found imprinted in the rich world of its caves in marvelous relief. This is a unique geological phenomenon, which remains an enigma to the scientific world. It is considered to be the entranceway to the sea at the cesspools of Argostolion. In the late grotto Melisani, the hours seem to flow by at their own rhythm. Simply strolling is sufficient to enjoy the superb scenery. Visit the chasms of the cave of Drogorati if you're longing to spend a couple of hours amongst a world of dreams and fantasy. Beautiful transparent stalactites in wonderful clusters compose a majestic environment. The Hall of Apotheosis has been adopted for musical performances since the natural acoustics are of such a high level. The world of the Ionian is an astonishing combination of scenery and setting, where each island is a garden of light, color, and serenity. This is where poetry and illusion come together. Caves have played a significant role in Greece's struggles for freedom throughout history. The cave of Papa Nicolis on Meganisi, Lefgada, 
is one of great importance and is one of the most beautiful maritime caves. As we approach Ipirus, the landscape unfolds to reveal the magic of a wild, mountainous nature. It is here that tradition has been kept faithfully alive from the depths of time, reflecting the vividness of the Greek spirit. The entire Ipirus is an open-air folklore museum, which maintains the nobility of the past. hosts a continual game between nature's aspects, water, and stone. A hemerical cave of rarest nature formations is set up by stalagmites and stalactites. A rare treasure of exceptional beauty in the Balkans, composed by nature's hand, like a true work of art. It is adorned with unique floral forms such as water lilies, cactuses, cypress trees, crosses, the jellyfish, to mention a few. In the cave of Parama, there is an air of mystery which prevails. Macedonia is another part of Greece, steeped in culturally significant history, weaving a net of radiating beauty. The enchantment of the caves is evident in northern Greece. The Red Stones Cave in Halkidiki reveals a wealth of findings dated back to the beginnings of human history. The fossil skull of the Petralino man was found here, a form indicating a transitional stage in the evolution of man between Homo erectus and Homo sapien. Forty-seven types of fauna. The clusters of voluminous stalagmites create sensational images. The Petralona Cave is the most exceptionally naturally formed museum on the European continent.
Greece rates amongst the few countries in the world with such a vast array of chasms and subterranean rivers. An underground palace with impressive stone structures has been formed by the waters of the subterranean river Mahara in Drama. Majestic stalactite formations create the breathtaking experience of walking through a stone forest. we will encounter an unusual and profuse stalactite synthesis. The cave of St. George is one of the most impressive and most original of Greek caves. Its natural stone interior with a multitude of coral-like formations create a world of fantasy. Northern Greece provide a palette of magnificent sites, rare images, unique to the region. This is undoubtedly an enchanting and magnificent sight to behold. In Ceres, the unsurpassable art of nature has formed an extraordinary monument, the Alistratis Cave. A multitude of complex shapes combine to compose an unusual geological phenomenon. confronted with rare plethora of stalactites and stalagmites, forming magnificent columns of intricate clusters. We witness the harmonious force shared by the coordinated movements of the sun and the moon.
The Aegean Pelagos is the sea that holds the promise of elated spiritual experience that the tradition of myths and legends composes. The mystery of the caves is an inherent part of this natural beauty. The Blue Cave of ancient Gisti in Castellorizo is one of the most beautiful maritime caves in Greece, known as the safe haven for fishermen of the Aegean. The maritime caves of Milos are like a chain of embraces in the form of open arms, ready to welcome the voyagers of the Aegean. Their strange shape and history give them distinguished charm in this corner of Cyclades. Here too are the famous Christian catacombs, a unique monument of its kind. The catacombs of Milos are among the most wondrous in the world. The hours spent here are dedicated to the lyrical charm of this poetic region. In Antiparos, Time seems to have stood still centuries ago. In the cave of St. John, various stalactite formations create an interior of incomparable fascination. Wonderful fossils, clusters with colors and marvelous shapes create a phantasmagorical setting. In order to sense Crete and tap its pulse, it is preferable to travel back to times long ago, so savoring its modern day aesthetics. It is then that Crete would be within your grasp of enjoyment. trip to Megalonisos should never be without exploring the subterranean specialties making the trip so worthwhile. In Santoni's cave in Zonia na Rethymno, the ornate passageways of various kinds of fossil forms compose a rare setting. The scenic interior is completed by towering columns in the manner of ancient Greek stylization.
the juxtaposition of contrasting form make up a wealth of impressive ornament. The expressive Greek myth originated here in the Cretan caves. Rhea gave birth to Cretan-born Zeus, king of the gods, in the dark chambers of the Dictaean Antron, the Dictaean cave. It is in this cave that Zeus was worshipped from the mid-Minoan period to the post-Minoan era. The remarkable findings, which include the ancient pickaxe, are now preserved in the Museum of Iraklio and are proof that these rituals actually took place. All the Cretan caves are linked by legends with traditions, imbuing each with particular qualities. In Tepolia Kisamu, according to legend, the icon of Saint Sophia of Constantinople found shelter at a nearby cave during the Great Persecution. In Crete, every aspect inspires a particular reality, seemingly hiding that which the visitor desires to see. The old cave of Melidoni is one of the many used as a place of worship during the Minoan era. Apart from its marvelous stalactite interior, it holds a significant position in modern-day Greek history. The Attica region symbolizes an unrivaled civilization, constituting a superlative quality of life, which transmits to this day. Athens, the most concrete expression of Greece. Athens is representative of the harmonious coexistence of old and new, which offer its visitor unique moments. To the east, a wondrous cave adds beauty to the capital. The Kutuki Cave in Pianea is a very imposing structure with rare embellishment. Stalagmites and stalactites interwine to form chasms and passageways adorned with color.
Greece can be characterized as being a place where miracles of nature and priceless treasures exist in a setting of natural serenity and disconcerting beauty. It is these qualities that reveal its grandeur. Finally, these are the substances that reveal its harmony and greatness. The island of Crete is one of the most important islands in the world, while nobody would doubt its high significance throughout the East, not only as a result of its considerable size, but also for its mild climate, the fertile land, and all the privileged gifts nature has endowed it with. It is located in the center of the Mediterranean, or even in the center of the world, as it is equidistant from Asia, Africa, and Europe. Testimonies arising from as early as the prehistoric periods, such as the Disc of Festos to the 20th century, such as the writings of Nikos Kazantzakis, bear witness of the importance of Heraklion throughout history. Nature and people here have many stories to tell. The prefecture of Heraklion, with its capital, the town of Heraklion, and its highest mountains, Mount Psiloritis and Mount Dicti, is located in the center of Crete and can offer undoubtedly everything to traveling fans. The fertile earth, the abundance of goods and the traditional manufacturing techniques of the local delicacies have rendered the products of Heraklion very popular. Every nook and cranny of the prefecture of Heraklion Every house, every local cooperative can offer unique tastes to satisfy even the most demanding palate. The inhabitants of Heraklion know how beneficial for us all the unprocessed, homemade products are and put all their enthusiasm and knowledge passed on to them from generation to generation into their making. Local cooperatives have been active for decades. All cooperatives guarantee the superior quality of their products and ensure that they reach you pure. During the spring, the whole region of Heraklion becomes a vast, beautiful garden preparing to enrich the summer atmosphere with fragrances from the aromatic herbal plants. The 
The prefecture of Heraklion includes mainly lowland landscapes. Only the west and east ends of the region can be characterized as alpine on the borders with the prefectures of Rethymnon and Lassithi. In between the altitude does not exceed the 1,000 meters. The largest plain of Crete is the plain of Masara, which is located between the mountains of the central part of the prefecture and Mount Kofinas in the south. The most important rivers of the region are Keropotamos and Anabodaris, which flow to the Libyan Sea. The climate of the island has contributed to the growth of a rich flora as well, with different ecosystems which led to the formation of a landscape of rare diversity. In this beautiful and diverse countryside, you can enjoy hiking, cycling or driving through, crossing trails of unique beauty. You too can experience this landscape by climbing rocky hills, by riding a horse or just by breathing the pure, full of oxygen air. The most abundant mineral in Crete is limestone, which is relatively easily dissolved in rain or spring waters. The rocks are thus easily corroded, creating small of big gorges with varying depths and widths. Caves are highly significant sites. The ways in which they have preserved evidence of human past activity, but also of the local environmental changes, have intrigued and drawn the interest of the academic community. Up to today, in Crete, a significant number of caves were known since the Neolithic period. Some were used as domestic sites, as witnessed by the archaeological finds inside them. Others were also used as burial or religious sites, sanctuaries. The European Trail E4, which passes through Greece and Europe, also traverses the prefecture of Heraklion. In Crete, it starts from the west and ends in Stia, at the eastern end of the island. E4 is a trail certified by the European Union and includes a rich hiking itinerary. Hikers have the opportunity to experience the natural beauties of Crete, but also the traditional settlements, the churches, and monasteries alongside, as well as the picturesque mountains of Crete. Heraklion has played a very important part throughout the history of Crete. The town has its roots very deep in time. Exactly when Heraklion was founded is still under dispute. However, there is some material evidence that bears witness of the birth of the town. 
excavations suggest the development of a settlement with the name of Heraklion during the early geometric period, around the 9th century BC. Throughout the prefecture of Heraklion, you can visit various different museums which can supplement your understanding of the history, the traditions and the nature of Heraklion. The Archaeological Museum of Heraklion is one of the biggest and most remarkable museums in Greece and one of the most important museums in Europe. Its exhibits include representative examples from all the prehistoric and historic periods of Crete, from the Neolithic to the Roman period, covering an expanse of 5,500 years. Its Minoan collection is the most significant in the world, being the reason why it has been recognized as the Museum of the Minoan Civilization. Το ιστορικό μουσείο Κρήτη παρουσιάζει μια συνολική εικόνα τη ιστορία τη Κρήτη από του πρώτου χριστιανικού αιώνε έω τη σύγχρονη εποχή. According to the legend, it was a palace of King Minos. The palace of Knossos is connected with the legendary myths of the Minotaur and Daedalus and Icarus. Festos was one of the most important centers of the Minoan civilization and the most important in wealth and power town of the southern Crete. The first signs of inhabitation in Festos begin in the Neolithic period and continue up until the palace period. The Museum of Cretan Ethnology is located two kilometers from the palace of Festos at the traditional settlement of Vori. The exhibition was inaugurated in 1988, while in 1992 it was awarded a prize of excellence by the European Council. The display, which follows Riviere's model, includes traditional domestic objects from all over Crete. The Museum Lignostatis was built between 1986 and 1992. For its construction, only traditional materials were used, such as stone, wood and clay, while the use of heavy machinery such as bulldozers was avoided. It functions as a place of active ethnography and an action against the consumer society. The Museum Nikos Kazantzakis is in Varvari, about 20 kilometers south of Heraklion. The aim of this museum is to preserve the work, but also tell the life story of the author. The Museum of Natural History of Crete offers its visitors the unique opportunity to experience the diverse natural environment of Crete and its particularities, as it has been developed within the culturally and environmentally complex landscape of the Eastern Mediterranean. The Aquarium of Crete offers a unique opportunity to discover and be introduced to the aquatic life of the Mediterranean. The Mediterranean Sea is the home of numerous species, hardly known to most of us, including many delicate ecosystems threatened in our days more than in any other historical period. The traditional Cretan dances are originated from the ancient periods 
and they are considered to be the descendants of the religious labyrinth dance that Theseus brought to the Greek mainland, where it was danced in memory of his victory over the Minotaur. Its turns and breaking steps are reminiscent of the labyrinth itself. Dancing is a significant part of the life of Cretans, who tend to demonstrate they are very and courage to read. Cretans never miss a chance to dance on any celebrating occasion. Cretan music is an amalgam of many different traditions. The island of Crete, being a crossroad between the east and the west, was influenced by various musical paths while maintaining its unique character. The most representative instrument of the Cretan music is the legendary lyre. There are so many things we can say about the customs and the traditions of this region. Throughout the year, you can visit various villages of the prefecture of Heraklion and gain unique experiences by watching or taking part in these old traditions that have remained unchanged through the centuries. Modern nutritionists consider today the Mediterranean diet to be the lifestyle that promotes good health and longevity. In 1994, the World Health Organization, the Harvard School of Public Health, as well as the health organization Old Ways, presented the pyramid of the Mediterranean diet, proving scientifically that the diet of the Mediterranean people, rich in vegetables, fruit, pulses and grains, Using olive oil as their main source of fat is a key factor in maintaining a good health and a long life. All you have to do is to take some time and taste these excellent quality delicious products. Travel through these inexhaustible combinations of magnificent tastes. <laughs> Today, it is believed that olive oil is the key ingredient in the Cretan diet and longevity. Medical research in Europe and America, conducted up today, has proved that olive oil does not only protect the heart, but it also promotes the good function of many organs and has a beneficial action on numerous diseases. The island of Crete is famous for its dairy products since they play a very important role in the Cretan diet as the main source of calcium and proteins of high biological value. The dairy animals in Crete are mainly the goat and the sheep, the milk of which is used for the production of cheese and other dairy products in a proportion of 70% of sheep milk and 30% of goat milk. A product recognized by the European community, the Cretan dried bread, the Paximadi, gains more and more funds thanks to its high quality, its natural ingredients and its high nutritional value. According to the Greek mythology, citrus fruits were the gift offered by Gea to Zeus and Hera for their wedding. According to the research conducted by Keys and Cromhut, Cretans eat six times more fruit than the inhabitants of Northern European countries. The Cretan honey is an entirely natural product and it is produced in areas of native vegetation as the ecosystem of Crete has provided excellent grounds for the growth of native plants, herbs in particular, on which bees feed. Honey is rich in vitamin E, which is used by an organism to dispose of the harmful constituents. According to botanical studies, Heraklion and the whole island of Crete in general, 
presents one of the richest and most interesting ecosystems in Europe with a large number of endemic plants, that is plants that are native only to Crete. According to the Greek mythology, the wine was brought in Crete by Cronus, who was a god of weather and father of Zeus. He taught Cretans how to cultivate the wine, which was the beginning of the story of the liquid gold, the wine of Crete. Even in our days, scholars are led to believe that the origins of wine can be traced in ancient Crete, as demonstrated by American scientists in an international scientific conference held in Kanya, Crete in 1992. The oldest winery in the world was found in the vicinity of Arhanes, where the most technically perfect wine press can be seen. We could never forget the most typical Cretan drink, the famous Tsikudia. It is a drink you can never say no to when offered. All you have to do is taste the local wine and the superb Tsikudia and your mood will reach heaven. In the 21st century, in Heraklion, the people that live in the larger urban centers are mainly employed in trading, industry and tourism, which during this last decade has become one of the most important factors for the financial growth of this region. People who live in smaller villages, far from the urban centers, are mainly occupied with land or animal farming, within the Cretan dietary standards, but also with the processing and standardization of their farming products. In the coastal areas, we can still see many people working as fishers. Modern needs have led people to develop new activities. However, the love of tradition is another typical characteristic of the people of Crete. It is not a rare phenomenon to see people to be involved with a traditional trade, even when they have another profession. There are still women in certain villages of Heraklion that have looms in their houses where they weave traditional textiles or producing fine specimens of embroidery. The traditional crafts still present in the prefecture of Heraklion include embroidery, clay, pottery, basketry, wood carving, instrument making, as well as knife making. Given the fact that many people have coexisted in this island for centuries, the Cretan culture has also been affected by foreign influences. This is reflected in the architecture of the island, as we can still see Byzantine churches next to Venetian and Turkish buildings. Apart from the historic monuments and monasteries, there are villages in Heraklion that have been characterized as traditional settlements as they maintain and change their historic character regarding their architecture and town plan. Apart from the hotels, however, Heraklion can offer alternative forms of tourism for those who seek to experience something different. In this case, 
the traditional way of Cretan life. The traditional hostels within the prefecture of Heraklion are easily accessible while they are mainly located in the vicinity of Heraklion and the coasts of the region. They offer excellent cuisine and comfortable lodgings. They are surrounded by outstanding landscapes and they are built according to the traditional Cretan architecture, its main characteristics being the use of stone, wood, as in most cases they refurbished traditional farmhouses. It is not easy to describe the prefecture of Heraklion in a few words. A region full of archaeological sites, picturesque villages, vast beaches and hotels of exceptional aesthetics. If you love sea sports, this is where you will find what you are looking for. If however you prefer alpine adventures, you can enjoy climbing the imposing slopes of Mount Psiloritis, Heraklion, a destination that is ready to receive you any time of the year. Yeah.